Hi, I'm Marco from Overland X, and on today's video, we're gonna take you to Big Bear Mountain. In 600 feet, in 600 feet. Hi, I'm Marco from Overland X, and on today's video, we're gonna take you to Big Bear Mountain. We're taking the 392, and I'm on my way to meet uh, Brad from Trail Recon. So it'll be a fun video, uh, a couple of 392s on the mountains. Stay tuned. So I'm in a 392 now, uh, but it's not my 392. This is uh, Brad's brand new 392, the red one. And we just swapped vehicles to, uh, you know, to compare differences. Uh, even though they're the same, basically the same vehicle as mine, uh, this it's on uh, 456 gears, mine is a 373. This is on 37s and mine's on 35s. And I just wanted to try try this one because I, I'm gonna do re-gearing on that on that Jeep, especially that that we pull the trailer. Definitely, the gearing it's 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 a, a lot better on 456 than the 373s. So now the question is that that I will go to 456 or 488s. I need to figure that out because I do have the trailer, right? So, I don't know, but I like the way the 456 performs. Um, I'm definitely doing gear swap on my Jeep. So, we just arrived to Pioneer Town. Uh, we're gonna have some lunch here, and then we're gonna go up the mountain to Big Bear. And we're gonna spend the night there. We're gonna do some cooking. Um, and uh, yeah, after driving uh, Brad's uh, Jeep, I mean, it's basically the same Jeep, same engine, same everything, but the uh, gearing makes a lot of difference. So I'm gonna be re-gearing mine. And I also need to address the steering uh, problem. Um, the steering is, it's really, gets really nervous. So I'm gonna be taking care of that. This place, uh, Poppy and Harrods, it's a, uh very popular and iconic restaurant here in uh, Pioneer Town. And we're gonna stop here for lunch. So we stopped for lunch at this restaurant in uh, Pioneer Town, and uh, it's really good. It's really, really good. Uh, now we're on our way to Big Bear. We're gonna go up there and find a find a, a place to camp for tonight, and we'll take you along. All right, buddy. I just need to get a shot of us at this low-lying desert real quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and set up the tripod real quick. Ready? Ready. So we finally made it to the beginning of Burns Canyon. Um, this is the trail that is going to take us up <clears throat> to the um, camping spot that we're going to be uh, using tonight. And uh, it's a little hot. Well, it's 79 degrees is not that bad, uh, but it, it, it can get really hot up down here. Uh, and then you go up the mountains, and uh, tonight is going to be in the 30s and we can still see snow on some of the peaks. So it'll be, it'll be chilly tonight. Alright, we're 
gonna drive for a while. This thing be a good shot. I like that transition from the lower desert into these Joshua trees too with the mountain. Copy that. You can see when we're when we're filming, it it's stop and go. It constantly stop and, and go and. Um, it's not like we're all the way uh, without stopping so and then we have to come back to pick up the camera and we look at the right shot and it, it's it's a lot of work guys but it's it's fun it's super fun and so i hope we can get uh we can get more uh, quality videos for you right. so it's a good idea to have one of these to dust off your uh, camera equipment after a shot like the one that I did. After a few more miles on the trail, doing more filming, stopping and going, taking more photos, and talking to others that we came across on the trail, we arrive to the amazing campsite. Finally made it to camp. This is a really nice area. There's only a few camping spots there. It was already taken uh, part of this spot, but the guys we know him. We met him before, so they're okay if we stay on the other side. We're pretty close to them, but uh, we're we're here, and the weather is it's really really nice. There's a nice breeze, and we're now in the 70s more or less. And let me show you where we're gonna camp tonight. All right, buddy, what are you doing? So I've got the propane fire pit, which is perfect for places like this where there's fire restrictions. And we use this all the time, but I don't have a big old propane bottle like I do on the trailer. So I got this adapter, and we're gonna see if we can use the small little propane bottles to get this fire going. Good Fingers idea. crossed, we'll see if it works. The small one pound propane bottle works well for Brad's small fire pit. Although the cold weather and wind made it less efficient. The MC Ranch Overland Aluminum Original Fire Reflector did a great job keeping that fire warm and cozy. Protected by that mountain over there. Uh, so the wind is not that bad here. And I'm on my James Berood rooftop tent. And Brad, he's got his uh, shift pod. Pretty nice uh, ground tent. And this is come for camp for tonight. See? This is my regular setup. In the James Marood, I keep both mine and my wife's sleeping bags, the Vector Off-Road Quilt, and of course, my wife's four pillows. Yes, four pillows are in the rooftop tent. Since the weather is going to get in the 30s tonight, I have ready my little buddy heater just in case. And now that we have finished setting up camp, we are going to prepare dinner. This time I'm cooking tuna al pastor tacos. Yes, tuna in adobo. The night before, I prepared the adobo with the following ingredients. Two garlic cloves, one dry chipotle, half an onion, one chile ancho, three chiles guajillo, three tablespoons of orange juice, one teaspoon of sazon goya achote seasoning, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, a pinch of cumin, and dry oregano. In boil water, add the chiles and the garlic. Once the chiles are rehydrated for about 10 to 15 minutes, let them cool down and put them in the blender. Add the rest of the ingredients using the water of the boiling mix. Bring the adobo to a thick consistency. Once the adobo is ready, cut three regular size ahi tuna fillets into small squares. Put them in a container 
A large Ziploc bag works really good and you can bring that to camp. Add the adobo to the tuna little by little until the tuna is completely covered by the sauce, but don't overdo it. You will have leftover adobo for more tuna or chicken. Yes, it works with chicken too. Andrew and avocado and the salsa. You gotta be careful with this salsa though. I love tuna, you know that. And pineapple is one of my favorite foods, and tacos is a favorite food. This is gonna be good. It smells so good, guys. What do you think? There's a lot of flavor going on in there. That yeah. is really, really good, dude. That adobo, that peanut salsa. What do you call that salsa? It's just peanut, peanut, then. Oh, I wouldn't have thought, but that's <laughs> really good. And then the pineapple and the avocado. And there's a little kick in it. Oh my gosh. Dude, this might be my new favorite taco you've ever made. This is so good. Good morning. This was a chilly night. It was it was very windy. It's still windy. It, it's super windy actually. But check out this place. It's just beautiful. We we found this place, and there's uh, four vehicles of people that we know. So they're camping right next to us. And uh, yeah, last night was very windy and it was cold. And right now it's still cold. But the views are beautiful. Check this out. Brad, right there. It's just amazing. This morning, uh, Brad is making breakfast and he cooked some uh, blueberry uh, pancakes with this vanilla infused maple syrup. It's really, really good. This is the other guy's uh, camp. They're not next to us. They've been camping here for a couple days. We got a really nice setup over here. What a nice view. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? How's it going? Was it windy last night? It was place? awful. It was crazy, huh? <laughs> How do you guys sleep? Were you able to sleep in your tent? Yes. Yes. I just get yeah. angrier and angrier as the night went on. <laughs> I was like, it's got to stop at some point. We are off to uh, keep on exploring this, this area in Big Bear. Last night was really windy and it was cold but it was it was it was nice it was nice inside the james Beirut with the i had my buddy heater and my uh, vector off-road quilt so i was fine after saying goodbye to our camping neighbors we headed out to do more exploring because we were returning home that day we needed to be on the trail as early as possible
On our way down, we encounter a group of nine jeeps coming up the narrow trail. We back up to give them the right of way, and we waited until the trail was open and safe. So we just came down tipped up trail and we're in Burns Canyon again and we're on our way to Big Bear uh, city or town and then we're gonna fuel up there and, and see what um, what do we do uh, next. This has been a pretty nice and relaxing weekend. Uh, camping with my buddy Brad from Trail Recon. Uh, we found a really nice spot last night and uh, I think we're coming back to that place. It was really nice. And, uh, now we're we're heading back to town and then uh, make our ways make our way back home. We arrived to town and we decided to stop in this beautiful forest to air up and to prepare lunch. This time pepper turkey and cheese sandwiches on a shibata bread. Pretty simple, but tasty. So brother, what do you think about this weekend's adventure? Come on, man. We need to do more of this. A lot more of this. It's a simple, easy trip. One night, not far from home. Dude, I loved it. Yeah, I love it. Thank you very much for setting it up, but uh, of course. Thanks what do you for think uh, dinner and the sandwiches. What do you think about those sandwiches? Dude, they're so good. Whatever that little dressing you put on here was awesome. It's good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And I always appreciate when you leave your comments. I love to read them. Thank you for watching.